take them inside, let them rest a few minutes, then we'll cut them up and have a little taste test. Okay guys, welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. So today we are going to do a versus video. I've got my ribs here, I've got them all prepped like I usually do. If you want to know how I do that, I'll put a link in the description to the video that I do that in. But that's not what this video is about. We're going to wrap in foil. One of these racks of rib was the one we wrapped. We're going to wrap the other one in pink butcher paper. See what we like better. I've heard of differing reviews from different people. I think that's because everybody's tastes different. So we're going to try it out and see what we like best. Okay guys, so we've got our Louisiana grill smoker here. We've got it set up at uh, 225. We're going to get these racks of ribs put on here. We're going to let them go for probably about two hours. Once they've gone on here for about two hours, then we'll wrap one in the foil. We'll wrap one in the in the uh, paper. That's what it is. And uh, we'll see what, what the end result is. We're going to do a little taste test and we'll see how that comes out. Okay guys, so our ribs are ready to wrap. They've been on here about two and a half hours. We're going to get these off here, wrap one in foil, one in paper. The way I check my ribs, um, is if you rub them like this and the rub doesn't come off you're good to go and if you like the color of them I like where the color is on these so we're gonna get them wrapped up we'll take this rack off first this one's gonna get wrapped in the, the foil so we'll put it upside down this is uh, Heath Riles uh, butter wrap for ribs you can buy it on his website um, i like it it's just got powdered honey and some spices mix it with some apple juice dump about three quarters of a cup in here like so and then i'm just going to wrap this up i always like to double wrap the ribs just in case one layer got a hole in it okay we're going to put this one back on there. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one. We're going to put it upside down <clears throat> and we're going to wrap it in two sheets of paper with some of our butter bath here. It's going to get away from them. There again. Double, double wrap it. And we'll get this back on the smoker and we'll check back and look you here in a couple hours and taste these. Alright guys, so these ribs have been wrapped for about an hour and a half. Two hours now, close to two hours. We're going to take a look and see if they're ready to come out. Oh yeah. See, this is how I usually do it. We're trying out this method, but look how those bones are pulled back. So, what I'm going to do, my favorite sauce, Stubbs Original. I'm going to put a little bit of that on the back side of this, and we're going to put them back on there. Out them wrapped to help reset the bark and you know, set this sauce on there for about oh probably half hour 20 minute 25 minutes to a half hour put that up there sauce this other side up here. Tyler, my boy, he really likes fish. So I'm cooking that for him. A little smoked, little smoked salmon. Probably should move 
Never done them in paper before. We're gonna check this out. Wow, it's looking good. The bones haven't pulled back quite as much as they did on the others, but they are pulling back. So I think we're gonna go ahead and sauce these up as well. The dogs over there. They, do, they should have some. Maverick. Maverick and Scout over there. Okay, so I'm just going to finish saucing this. Say if you want to see my full cook video on how I do ribs. I'll put a link to that in the description. Um, this is simply to see if wrapped in foil or paper is better. and uh, Or if we can even tell a difference. Who knows? So I've got the foil ones here, the paper ones here. And when my kids get back, we'll cut these up after they've rested a bit. Like I said, we're going to go about 20 minutes, then we'll let them rest. Then we'll cut them up and uh, have a little taste test. All right, guys, it's time to get these ribs off here. That uh, sauce is all set up. So this is our foil wrap. separate. You can tell because the bones are out further on the foil one, but they don't know that. So we're going to take them inside, let them rest a few minutes, then we'll cut them up and have a little taste test. All right, so our ribs have had a rest. Here we are for our taste test. First of all, pick up your first rib. First rib. Take a bite. We're judging on tenderness and taste and texture. This is good. Okay, now put that down after you've had a bite. Cleanse Eat it. Palate. Cleanse your palate. <laughs> My dumb teeth. All right. Now, hey, get back here. You're leaving. My dumb teeth. You're all right. Yeah. Now take a bite of the other one. Judging on tenderness and taste. And Josh is going back for the other one. Uh, Which one? one? Which side of your plate was that one on? That side? I like this one. That one? Okay. Which one do you like better, Spencer? That one? Wait. I don't know which one's which. I do. I can tell which one of yours is which. Which one do you like, Mimi? This one. That one? Okay, so Mimi, Emily, and Josh say the one that was wrapped in tin foil is better. And which one did you like better, Spencer? That one? He says the one wrapped in paper was better. This one had a much more tender flavor. The one with the foil, yeah. yeah. I could tell when I was cutting it that the one with the foil was way more tender. So, there you have it. I think we'll be wrapping our ribs in foil from now on. And uh, if you like what you see, Josh is going to give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.